Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you wanna cook. On today's video, we are making a Pilchard's pasta bake. Let's get started guys and as usual I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. Now let's take a quick round out of the ingredients. I have some milk, some mayonnaise, sea chili, white pepper and this spice guys. The Portuguese steak, please don't sip on it. I have some white pepper, onion, green pepper, some tomatoes and the stuff, the dish of course, the tin fish or pilchards. Some pasta spice, some green onion seasoning, my favorite, and I have some macaroni. You can use other types of pasta that you like, fusilli, whatever you, you have at your disposal. I have some Italian herbs, some lemon pepper, and aromat, some garlic salt. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I'm gonna get started by cooking the pasta first in my boiling water. Now I did forget to add the oil, but I did remember to add it at a later stage. So please don't forget to add the oil. And I'm not gonna add any seasoning or any salt because we're gonna season our pasta with the pasta spice that we have so if you don't like the pasta spice you can just go ahead and add salt into your water now here i just want to show you that guys please before you open your tin stuff wash it first you don't know what this thing has been okay where it's been what has crawling on what has been crawling on top of them this is something that uh, my dad taught us when we were very young so that before you open your tin good tin the goods please wash them <laughs> now i'm just gonna take out the bones for me if I was back home I wouldn't because I grew up not taking them and we didn't die okay <laughs> anyway so I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to my pasta so that it stays separate because it's gonna stay in this bowl for a long time and it's gonna stick together and then I'm gonna add my pasta spice you can add as much as you want according to how much pasta you have this spice is so good guys it's so good but be careful because it is a little bit salty so a little bit really goes a long way now in my in the very same pot this is what i love about this recipe i used two pots period <laughs> i'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil and then i'm gonna add my onions i use two medium onions guys i love onion i love 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 onion so if you don't love it you can add as much as you want so i'm just gonna saute it for about a minute then i'm gonna add my garlic and also saute that for about 30 seconds to a minute until you can perceive the fragrance of the garlic then it's ready no need to cook it further Then I'm gonna add my crushed chilies. I love this. I think I went a little bit overboard with adding it, but it was so nice. It complements with everything, especially when you add the sweet chili plus the chili, you know, it's prominent in the dish. So yes. Then we're gonna saute it for a minute. Then we're gonna add our peppers and continue to cook this beautiful dish. And I do think that pilchards are a staple in South Africa. I mean, majority of the households, I believe they do eat pilchards. It's always there in the cupboard. And you know, sometimes you just want a way to juice it up. Now in an, another pot, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of margarine. You can use butter, but guys, botorek botor, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> So this in this part we're gonna make our white sauce and then 
yeah while that melts i'm gonna add my green peppers into my onion and then saute them for another minute now please don't let the green peppers cook down because remember this is still gonna go to the oven so it doesn't need to cook any further now in my butter i'm gonna add green onion seasoning guys we are multitasking here you see we are multi-talented <laughs> i'm gonna add my green onion seasoning then i'm gonna add my lemon pepper then i i made a slurry of three tablespoons of flour and then milk and then i added it to the butter that part cut out guys my phone just doesn't want to cooperate with me these days but anyway my fire by force please keep stirring it because it will thicken very very quickly and once you see that it's thickening a little bit more uh, milk you know until you get the consistency that you're looking for and remember when you put it aside it's gonna thicken even more so put enough then I'm gonna add my white pepper I'm gonna add my Italian seasonings and then I'm gonna add my tomatoes and cook them down until they come a sauce or a relish You see guys, it's sickening. At this point, I reduced my heat to a three because I just want to cook off that flour taste. Now, in my relish, I'm going to add some chutney. You can add sugar, but for me, I added chutney. And just to cut off that acidity from the tomatoes. And remember, the pilchard also have a tomato sauce on their own. Keep checking your sauce guys it's sticking very quickly I'm gonna add this Portuguese steak spice I think I added a little bit too much but everything was just balanced then I'm gonna finish it off with my aromat I did add the pigeons the pilchards I didn't crush them like other people do i don't think it's necessary guys if it disappears then what's the whole point i want to see it in my food that i'm eating pilters now not because it looks like gravy come on okay don't overcook it i'm simmering i switched off my stove there is my sauce now we're gonna assemble everything i'm gonna prepare my pan with a non-stick spray then i'm gonna add my macaroni and then our pilchard sauce. Ooh, please let it be saucy. Don't let it be dry. You want it saucy because this is going to go into the oven to cook further. I'm going to add my sweet chili. This ultra creamy mayonnaise, guys. The ultra creamy mayonnaise from Nola. Honey, I swear by it. Okay, get that one and it will change the taste of mayonnaise for you forever. If you're still watching at this time guys, please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and like. And yeah, comment down below anything, let's have a conversation. Do you like pilchards? How many times do you eat it in a month? Or do you, how do you prepare it? Let's have a conversation. And then I'm going to add my white sauce on top. Guys, these flavors. Oh, now, if you don't want it to do like this, you can make this a salad. You can just go ahead, add the sweet chili and the mayonnaise, and you have a salad. You can have it with whatever that you're having with your protein. And, yeah, a braai salad, you know, yeah. So, in this instance, we're going to make it into a main dish and not a side dish. I'm just gonna try to spread the sauce around the edges so that it can cover most of the surface and yeah then we're gonna come in with my favorite ingredients of all time <laughs> cheese baby cheese 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 if you have a uh, grated cheese that's perfect but in this instance I used what I had I had cheese slices and I put them around and then I'm gonna garnish with some green onion seasoning not too much just a little bit you know that's how it looks and off to the oven it goes i put firstly i put it bake for 20 minutes then i put it on grill for another 20 minutes and yeah it was done 
and there you go guys it is so creamy i hope you tried please don't forget to subscribe like the video comment down below and let's have a conversation um what is your favorite pilchard dish do you like it with pop macaroni with rice how do you like to prepare it and yeah i'll see you on the next one